Okay, welcome back to my new Matplotlib tutorial. Uh, in this video, I would like to explain how you can create animations with uh, yeah, PyPlot. Um, there are many methods how to do that. And what I want to show you now is the one which I'm using. Uh, and I think it's one of the most convenient ones. So um, you don't have to put so much effort in, in doing this. It's, it's more or less everything is working out of the box. So um, what, what I want to show you now is to create uh, an example of a standing wave. So we have one sine wave coming from the left, one from the right. They are overlapping. And then we want to plot, uh, plot both waves, including the sum of these waves and to animate, as I said, a standing wave. And yeah, this is, uh, yeah, we can, or we can just start now. Now, so we, we first import Import our matplotlib as usual, uh, pyplot splt, and uh, then we import our numpy packages uh, snp, and we also use math later for the value pi. Yeah. So now we first define our two functions. So as I said, we need one sine function coming from the left, which I call maybe f1 of x, and uh, this will be here we have to just return as usual a numpy this is important uh, dot uh, sign and then we have one wave coming from the left and the same we have to do for one wave coming from the right so we have to write here f2 of x uh, return np dot scene minus x and uh, here it is important that we actually um, add um, yeah, a, a counter i divided by 16. This I found out works the best. Why I'm doing this will become clear in a few seconds. So here we have to do the same, i divided by 16. So as a usual wave, we have, uh, uh, yeah, we have basically the, the spatial part x and the time part, and this is this one here. And the time is what we actually want to animate. So we have to add this uh, i over 16. So now we can simply create a for loop and write here for i uh, in range. And then as I said, 100 frames we want to create. And then as we have always done it, we can just uh, create x values. Uh, so uh, in this case, we use again lin space. Uh, and then we want to go from zero to the full angle math dot uh, two times math.py and we want to create 100 values so we don't want to make it too fine then it will take a lot of time to calculate but also not too coarse otherwise uh, it will um, it will not look good so 100 i found out was a good value and then we can define our y value so we can write here uh, y1 equals f1 of x comma i uh, because we are looping here actually over i and we can do the same y2 equals f2 of x of y instead of uh, using f1 and f2 we could also actually use one function and uh, yeah change the sign here but i think it's more instructive maybe if we have it like that because then uh, it, it looks a little bit more familiar actually okay um, now after doing this we can we can create our plots so we can write here plt dot plot and then as usual uh, we give first our x values which is this list that we created here um, or this array actually and uh, then we have to write here our y1 and we can also give it a color so let's suppose we want to make these two waves which we create these two si moving sine waves we want to just draw in black color yeah? so we can write here color equals k and the same we have to do here also for the other one x y2 color equal k and now the standing wave we can just then simply create uh, by uh, plotting the sum of both and uh, here maybe we want to make the color red so um, yeah then we will also see later that uh, the, the 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 y range changes according to the sum that we calculate and then um, it, it looks a little bit disturbed therefore i would recommend here in this case um, to uh, set a y limit so we can write here uh, plt dot y lim minus two up to two uh, which i found is also the best because the sum of 
one plus one. Uh, I mean, this can maximum be two, so we can go from minus two to two. And then instead of showing the graph, we now save it. Yeah? So we can write here, maybe we call this output anim for animation. And then we have to add our value i. Yeah? So later we get for every frame a new picture. But uh, what we also have to do, we have to use here the function zfill. Yeah? Uh, because uh, here we write down how many leading zeros we want in our uh, value. Uh, so the leading digits before our integer should be filled with zeros. Uh, and three is of course then perfect value. And then we have to also put an ending here. So then later um, uh, uh, Python knows in which uh, format it should be stored. And then what is also important, we have to close our plot at the end. Otherwise it will overlay all these functions, but we want to delete it and uh, clear it again after we uh, save it. So we have to write here plt.close. Yeah, and this is in principle everything. Now we can actually run that. And uh, sorry, I forgot here, of course, uh, it should be, we need another parameter here, i. Nah, uh, this I've forgotten before. And now we can run it. And now you can see that uh, slowly all these frames which we defined are created. No? So it, it doesn't take so much time, but um, of course, if your animation is very long, then you should, um, yeah, you should maybe expect a few minutes for that. So this was quite fast. And now we have our frames here. We can go one by one through this just to check whether everything works well. So here we can click and we can see our black lines are moving. Uh, whereas on the other hand, the red curve, which is the sum of these two, is only going up and down exactly what you expect from a standing wave. And now uh, after doing that, we can, uh, we, the only thing which we have to do, we have to create an animation from that. So there are many possibilities for that. So if you use Windows, I think there is software available to do that easily. Um, if you use Wind uh, Linux like me, uh, especially an Ubuntu based system, then it's uh, also very easy because image magic, which is a tool for converting images um, usually, this is installed already, uh, pre-installed normally. So um, what we can do now is uh, write here convert. This is the command from image magic in the terminal. And then we have to set a delay, which is uh, always um, divided by 100, which gives the delay in seconds. So it means Basically, one would mean a delay of 10 milliseconds between the frames. And uh, then we can use all the frames here. And this is the reason why we have chosen this leading zeros here, because then the order is kept. Otherwise, um, when, uh, when, when the convert command um, opens these files, then first um, uh, one comes, then 11, then 12, and so on, uh, because of this alphanumerical uh, ordering and now we can order it very easily. Uh, so we have here our anim png, and then let's suppose we want to create a gif which is called anim.gif. And when we press enter, everything seems to work well. So we have to wait again. It will take a little bit time for for the command to be executed. It's finished. Um, and let's see whether it created the file uh, here, anim.gif. So if we press this or click on this or open this in any other um, yeah, any other viewer, whatever you like, then you can actually see here the animation. It looks not so smooth. I think this player here is not, is not working very well. Yeah, so I can go here down in this terminal. I can use uh, xdg open um, anim.gif and here it looks much better. You can really see here in a very nice way. We can also make it full screen. You can see these very nice waves moving from left to right, right to left, and the standing wave as the sum of these two amplitudes. Okay, uh, this is uh, very simple. You can do it for any kind of animation, whatever you want. You only have to actually uh, define the parameter that you want to animate uh, within your function here. And then you can just loop over this, create PNG files, convert it into GIF or from, if you use uh, an FFM PEG, for example, you can also convert this GIF into an into a video. You can include this in your presentations in uh, on your website now. So um, there's no no limitation in this. And uh, yeah, if you are a teacher, you can show this these kind of animations to your students in school. Yeah? And I think it's quite impressive. Okay. 
But this is everything what I want to show today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please hit the like button. Please subscribe my channel if you have not done so far. And hopefully see you soon for one of the next videos.